what's going on YouTube? I'm gonna give you guys a nice hack. I don't think they want this hack out there because I found zero. So we bought two of these tornado salters, right, with the spreader. And one of them, the bearing and the motor was burned out. And the other um, salter, the conveyor belt was literally frozen solid because of all the rust. This one, the chain right here was frozen solid. We ended up uh, saving the chain. We bought a new one. We bought a new chain, but the teeth gap was was off. We couldn't put it together, so um, we saved the old chain. We literally had to break each link, spray it, break the neck, spray it, and go all the way around the whole conveyor. But here's the issue: they sold us both of them. One we got with the controls and the module and the shaker, the vibrator, and um, the other one just came with the module. But as soon as we hooked them up, the one that actually came with all the controls, the module never worked. Obviously, we should have tried it when we were with them. It's simple: just hook up the battery, and the negative. And you should get the conveyor going the salter or the vibrator but we didn't we took their word and it turned out it was used up the module didn't work the module was like five hundred dollars by itself so then i uh hardwired it straight to the battery <clears throat> i just took regular regular battery cables and bypassed the module here i went to the to the auto parts advance and they sold me this it's called the two-way switch solenoid i think pretty much uh it's just a straight direct on and off so once i click it and i got uh the spreader wired up right to the same cables and then i got my vibrator and my lights hooked up uh separately here with their own fuse but this literally just runs to the battery this side goes to the positive this side goes to the positive in the back and you just run your ground how you would to the battery and that's it man this saved us a whole trouble 60 bucks this piece right here i think it's two-way switch solenoid oh, this bad boy though they don't have it in the front you gotta ask them and they take it to the back but this is all you need and you bypass the module on those altars we got this one going and we got that bad boy over there going same way i'll show you guys and then uh, the strobe lights, this one came with strobe lights. I just connected that to the old salter switch. Um, same thing with the spreaders, the box spreaders. If you lose your speed controller, just run your wires direct to your battery. And then just put a 30, 30 fuse on it in the switch. And you're good to go. I mean, you can't control the speed, but hey, we needed it like that very day. And we were able to figure it out. So that's a hack for you guys. That should work on pretty much any of them. All right, guys. So again, got the salter used. I'll show you. This is very primitive how I did it. This is my battery, my negative. Ran it through the firewall. Literally did this on the day we needed to start plowing and salting. Um, when we first installed it and we hooked up the controller, the salter spinner spun once and then everything died. And the reason is whoever had this hooked up all the strobes all the lights the vibrator everything to the module and they overloaded it so and i'm gonna show you really fast once i put it through the firewall i just ran my wires through wherever the battery one i cut right here and i hooked it up to my switch so this wire comes from the battery and then this one goes straight back to direct to the conveyor belt and to the spinner uh, you can also do your vibrator if you want then i also hooked up my strobe lights and uh, my spotlights from here and I added my own switch um, my vibrator's on here too with my vibrator and this one's uh, my strobe lights so then it goes literally it's so primitive okay the wires are just hanging these are the wires from the old harness um, for the other truck I used spare uh, wires that I had laying around I literally just ran it through the window I ran it around the cab here it just runs on the inside all the way to the back and then it just goes hooked up straight to the conveyor belt the conveyor belt this is the vibrator no this is for my spreader so the conveyor belt the spreader and then the vibrator i ran it on a separate wire on a separate wire to uh the switch and then i did the same with the strobes and i mean you just get full blast speed you can't control it but like i said we needed it that day we ended up getting another one which is the one we got on another truck and that one didn't come with a controller or nothing no wires nothing and uh you know we thought we could save this one this was before i figured out how to do this i couldn't find anything 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 
but just ask about this two-way switch or uh, two position solenoid I think it's called I know I said two-way switch but two position on off solenoid power solenoid and this is it that's how you do it all right guys so remember if you want to run everything off of the switch just hook everything up uh, from this side have this cable coming from the battery and then everything else the spreader the vibrator the conveyor just hook it up on this side and then just control it with the switch and otherwise you got to run a new line for each thing if you want to have them separately but all right good luck all right guys we're about to take it off we're gonna to try to sell it if we can't sell it we're gonna hold on to it until the next season we're actually cleaning it getting the salt off before we put it away because if we want to use the next season, we don't want to deal with the same rusty. All right, guys, I'll show you when I take apart the other one. Hey, guys, the box is nice and clean now. We're going to pull the whole harness out. We're going to unplug it from the battery. We're going to just pull the wires through the firewall, pull them out the back window, and the whole box is going to come out ready to go with the whole wires and everything. We're going to sell it as is. Look at that, guys. Everything just came right out the window. We literally just popped that thing on that little tab and the switch everything is all intact for everything wired up now we're just gonna pull it pull it this way we're gonna stand it up and then we're just gonna store it for a little bit all right guys we got complete with the full harness the switches so it's gonna go got the second one here and this is this was wired up the same the conveyor the spreader it's all wired up from here to the front to the switch and then uh, I didn't have any wires so uh, I ended up burning I ended up burning up my spreader the first time I wired this one up because I used these thin ass wires right here and um, luckily I had a spare motor I swapped that out but so I wouldn't do that again I uh, I added literally three wires together and I just ran them all the same way as the other one through the cab through the window to the switch see these are all just one I just added three so be more power going through the wires I'm gonna just go through the firewall to the battery it's my ground I got two wires for the ground and I got three for the power let me just go right up to my switch same type of switch as the other one two position on off solenoid switch and I guess what this one does is it allows um, more current to exit out to this side to whatever you're running that way you don't have to have a thick ass wire for the for the uh, battery power coming in so i guess it multiplies it somehow in there i'm not sure exactly how it works but this should do the job saved a thousand dollars alone using this because the modules are 500 each so i'm gonna take this one apart plug it from the battery just pull the harness out we're gonna clean it up real quick and then we're gonna put it in the garage to store it but that's the hack guys that's the hack it's the million dollar hack